Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning everyone. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, today we are going to discuss a new topic, eh? loop logic structure. So this is a uh, very important topics, not only for this subject, but you are going to use this uh, uh, this knowledge throughout your study in UMP, eh? uh, because this is the basic of very basic but very important uh, concept in computer science eh? looping eh? all right uh, there are uh, actually the important things in this is the types uh, types of looping so i'm not going to use 100 percent uh, this uh, slides eh? but uh, Later on, after we finish uh, with the discussion, you may refer back to these uh, slides because if I 100% refer from here, I'm afraid that uh, some of you will not, uh, especially those who didn't have a prior knowledge of computer science, you are going to be lost uh, if I'm using 100% uh, from these slides. So, I'm going to go to very basics. Okay. First is first is eh, the reason. Eh? Uh, the reason. Can you see? Is it too small or can you see uh, my word over here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The reason why we need to apply loop uh, or looping uh, in our program uh, mainly there are two uh, first is you want to do counting okay somewhere in the program we want to do counting reason eh? two eh? the counting is something like uh, one two three uh, one two three four five you want to count you want to count something eh? There are various reasons why we want to do counting. Eh? Later on, we will see some of the examples. Okay, we want to do counting. So we apply looping. Okay, the second one is we want to do. Okay, we want to accumulate things. Okay, we want to accumulate. For example, in our program, we have uh, we have a program to calculate sum. Eh? Uh, we want to calculate sum in our program, sum uh, summation. Okay, for example, sum of uh, in the first looping, we want to calculate sum of one plus one. So the answer is what? Two n. This is the first loop, and then in the second loop, we want to calculate three plus one. The answer is what? Three plus one. Four, right? So, so over here the accumulation is two plus four. Lah. Two is the sum in the first process in the first loop. Four is the summation of the second loop. Uh, so we want to do accumulate, meaning that we want to sum two plus four. Uh, so let's say if we have the third loop, third loop we have 
5 plus 5. So the accumulation is 2 plus 4 plus what? 10. 10. Uh, so you understand eh, what is accumulation? Eh? So this is if we have three loop. Okay, this is the first loop, second loop, third loop. And then we want to accumulate uh, the element from each of this loop. For example, the elements of sum. Eh? So this is accumulation. So we need to apply looping in order for us to do accumulating. So these are the two main reasons why we apply looping in our program. Okay. Okay. So this is the reason why we need to apply looping. And then uh, we are going to look at we are going to look at the type okay the types types of looping so mainly there are three types of looping first one is while loop the second one is do while do while do while and the third one is for loop. Okay. In the notes, this one also referred as repeat until. Eh? Uh, repeat until. Repeat until. In the notes, eh? And this is referred as automatic. Automatic loop. Okay. This is from the notes. Uh, but this is general that we use. Uh, if you go anywhere, if you are using any uh, programming uh, languages, okay, this is what we are going to refer okay, when we are writing a program. While, do while, or for loop. There are only three types of looping. Huh? Okay. okay. So we are going to look at the first types, which is while. Eh? while loop uh, but before that let's look at this example first okay from the flow charts okay so we are going to go through uh, this three eh? so first is while loop Boleh, gelang, eh? can you flow yes Boleh, eh? right okay so let's see okay let's see that we have a very simple program very very simple for program to calculate sum eh? so i'm going to use flowchart eh? start and then simple eh? very simple then enter h this is to calculate okay let's say we want to calculate the average of uh four percent each okay four percent each eh? so if you are doing it in sequential logic structure using sequential logic structure so we need a different variable to hold the four value of each correct so we need h1 this is if you are applying a sequential logic structure, eh? and then we need to enter H2, we need to enter H3, then we need to enter H4, okay, four different H, okay, from four different uh, percent, eh? and then what class? What is the next process to calculate the average? Next is what? Addition. You need to calculate the, the sum first. Eh? Uh, how to calculate the sum? H1. And then, uh, 
H2. Okay, good eh. So H4. Right? And then we can calculate the average. Average equal to sum divide by 4 n. And lastly, we say we want to print okay, print the print the sum and average. And so this is sequential logic structure eh? without decision without looping. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, line, don't forget uh, line and line. Uh, no decision eh, no decision. Later, later on, we put some decision, eh? And then also looping. Okay, so this is normal. So imagine if we have to uh, calculate, so hundreds ages, uh, hundred each. So what happened to your program class? If you want to calculate hundred each. So you need very long. Yeah, it's going to be very long, right? H1 until H100. Same goes to the calculation for the sum, right? So H1 plus 2 until plus 100. So it's going to be very long. So here comes the loopings. Uh, so looping is somehow simplify this process. Eh? Instead of we need to write down, so this equal to one line of quotes. If we, if we convert this to a programming language, okay, when we do the coding, this equal to one line, this equal to one line, one line, one line, one line of code, at least, uh, minimum one line, eh? it can be more than one eh? for one single symbol, if we convert this into a computer program. So imagine if you have uh, 100 to enter, eh? so minimum 100 only for input, okay, minimum 100 line only for input. Okay, so here comes the looping. Okay, looping will simplify this program. So how to apply looping? Okay, for this kind of program. Okay, first when you before we apply looping, eh, you need to identify which part of the program is repeated. Okay, in this case it is clear, eh? so this part over here is repeated. Uh, so you need to uh, clearly understand and you need to clearly uh, differentiate which part is uh, repeated which part is not repeated okay for example over here okay identify this part here is repeated what else is repeated guys what else is repeated is it calculation of summary repeated repeated right Yes. How about calculation of average? Is it repeated? Yes. Is it repeated or no? <laughs> Do you see many H over there? No, right? Only average and summary, uh, summation, right? Uh, so it is not repeated. Uh, so let's limit the repetition only for sum summation. Okay. So this is very important. Eh? Uh, so we can see over here. So this elements, uh, this process is repeated. Uh, so we are going to focus only this to put in the looping. Uh, the rest is normal process. Normal process, normal process, normal process. Okay. So repetition is the one that we are going to focus over here. Okay. So let's now convert this into a looping program okay program with looping okay first 
we, you need to know that looping requires what we call as a counter. Okay. Counter is a variable that will control your looping. Okay. When we say a variable, uh, the names can be various. Eh? As long as you follow the rules how to uh, name a variable, then it can be varies. Okay, you may use counter as a name. Okay, you may use any name for counter. Eh? Uh, you know, not necessarily you use counter as the variable name. Okay, for the counter lah. Okay, for, but for this example, I'm using counter. Okay, counter as a variable name that a variable that control the looping, and counter happens to be in three dif different place in your design eh? if you want to apply looping uh, in your program you need to have counter and when we have counter it will be in a three different location first it will be in the initialization and then it will be in the decision and finally it will be in the looping body in the form of what we call as counter update okay update okay let's look at one by one okay so in order for you to use count uh, looping you need to have counter in the initialization okay so where where is it in the initialization initialization happen on the top of the program okay after start and then we will put initialization and you must use this assignment symbol uh, remember this symbol can be used for calculation or initialization and eh? please remember this uh, it can be in the form of calculation and eh? for example c plus one and for this symbol assignment symbol or you may use it for initialization and eh? for example x equal to 2 x equal to 4 x equal to 0 so in this case we want to use for initial initialization for the counter okay so for initialization you may start with any numbers okay you may start with any numbers 1 0 10 is that it is up to you All right so in this case let's say I'm going to start with zero. This is just to make sure that we can start our looping, eh? uh, this number. So I'm going to use zero as my uh, initialization number for the counter. Okay. Right. So in this case, we are using while loop. Okay. Remember, we have three types of looping. While, do while, and for loop. So let's say if you want to use while, so straight away over here, once we uh, once we already uh, do the initialization, okay, so over here there are no other process and eh? over here again, eh? no other process. Uh, so straight away we have enter each, which is we already identify to be included in the looping. Uh, so looping for while looping. After initialization, we are going to apply the decision. Uh, decision. So where's the decision? Uh, over here. Decision involving counter. And eh? counter happen to be in three location. Eh? For looping. Eh? Initialization. Decision. Uh, so the next thing is decision. Eh? So decision similar with if else. The decision for looping also using the diamond symbol. Eh? Uh, but the difference compared to decision if else is if the decision is involving looping, we put the looping keywords. Uh, decision we put even. If or else if. But for looping, we put the keyword for looping. In this case, the keyword, since we are using while, the keyword is while lah. Eh? while and then we put the decision uh, what what should be the decision for looping the decision for looping is the decision for 
the looping to be terminated. Uh, so looping need to be terminated. Eh? So what is the termin termination uh, decision? Uh, the termination decision is involving, must involve the counter. Okay. Termination mean that we want the looping to stop. Where we want the looping to stop. Okay. So if you see from here, H1, H2, H3, H4. So do you get the idea? How many loop the program should uh, execute? How many loops? Four. Uh, it should be four, eh? One, H1, H2, H3, H4. So it must looping four times. Okay. If we start the looping with zero number, okay, we start the looping with zero number, so it will stop until what number? If you want to loop, loop four times. Zero, one, two, three. So it should stop until counter equal to three. Is it correct? Yes. Okay, so here is the stopping point. So you must define the stopping point over here. So it is up to you. Okay, let's say if you want to use less than. Remember, eh? the, the operator that we can use for decision is should be the operator that gives the outputs true or false only. Okay, you cannot use plus, minus, multiplication cannot. Eh? So the counter, the, the symbol, the operator should be less than, more than, less than, equal. Okay. So in this case, let's say I want to use less than. So it should be less than what? If you want it five. to repeat four times. Five. Okay. Let's say we use five. Zero, one, two, three, four. Ah. So how many times it loops? Zero, one, two, three, four. How many times? Five times. Uh, five times. You want it to be looping only four times. So zero, one, two, three. Okay, maximum is three. So what should I put over here? What if I put three? Not enough. There's a four. Zero, one, two only, yeah? Because two is less than three. If you put three, meaning four times okay zero one two three ah. four times then so this should be three yeah? okay zero one two three okay so now we got we get uh, four loops okay with zero and then the loops will stop if counter less than four Okay, zero, one, two, three. Understand this? Anybody does, doesn't understand? So this is starting point, initialization, starting point of the uh, looping. This is the end point of the looping. So if you want to, uh, you know, when, you, when we want to design the program to loop, we need to start uh, with this. Okay, the starting point, the end point. Okay, and then the counting number from 0 to 3 is where we control the loop. Okay, if you want the loop to be okay, uh, 3 times, it starts with 0 and it ends when counter equal to 4. Equal, counter equal to 3 lah. Let's say if I change the counter initialization to 1. I want it to looping 4 times. So what should be the value of here? It cannot be four, right? It will be one, two, three, four. So this should be five. Uh, so it, it repeat, it will repeat four times. Okay? Understand this, class? Or let's say I want to use less than or equal. So what should be the value over here? Four. Ah, if I use 
less than or equal. So you cannot use five over here. If you use five, one, two, three, four, five. Five still true, right? Five is less than equal to five. So five still true. If you put five over here, you will look five times. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So if you use less than or equal, this number should be. Oh. Uh, should be four. Okay. This is how you control your looping. Eh? So this is the starting number. Okay. Of the looping. This is the end number. So if you are, if you think that. Uh, you are comfortable using this value uh, then you may use this uh, one and four okay as long as it doesn't uh, affect the requirement of the program uh. okay understand this eh? okay so this is very important decision involving the counter okay so now we cover two elements already eh? initialization and decision Okay, next is the body. Okay, the body of the looping. Okay, so this is the body of the looping. Eh? The body of the looping <coughs> is represented by this over here. Okay, anything that looping, anything that loops in your program, we put it in the looping body. Okay, where this is true. Okay. Where this is true. Okay. If this condition is true, this is where the looping happen. Okay. Any statements that is repeated we put it over here all right and if this is false okay, if this is false if this is false okay, remember eh, this is decision eh? decision must have two eh? uh, two arrow comes out from the symbol true Another one is false. Huh? So if it is false, it goes somewhere. Go somewhere. Okay, let's uh, tell you with this program over here. So clearly, if this is true, okay, meaning that if counter equal to one, okay, counter one n one is less than equal to four is it correct is it true one yes. less than or equal to four okay true it will enter this looping body and it will do the inputs uh, okay so since we are using looping okay now we only take one statement over here eh? and it should be general uh, no h1 h2 h3 h4 lah, kan? if we use this uh, no point to apply looping yeah uh, so take a general name for this and put it in your looping body so this is the looping body okay so let's see if you forget to put one more important element which is update so what will happen if you forget to put update what will happen class Okay, let's read this uh, design. Eh? Okay, counter equal to 1. Okay, while 1 less than equal to 4, true, enter H. Go back again to the decision. What's the value of counter? Right now? 1. Okay, still 1. Okay, enter the body of looping again. What's the value of counter? 1. Still 1. Enter again. Still one, still one, still one, still one, still one. Eh? The value of counter still one. 
So doesn't matter how many looping happen, the value of counter is still one. So it, okay, this condition is what we call as infinity loop. Okay, supposedly we must stop at looping, uh, maximum looping is four, right? but now we have infinity looping. Okay, infinity, it always looping. Although it exit four already, eh? So it always looping because you didn't put this very important element, which is counter update. Okay, this is just to make sure that the counter value can be moved from one to two to three. And finally, it will stop at four. Okay, you understand eh? what happened if you forget to put this update value. So where to put the update value? Okay, you must put the update value at the bottom of your looping body. So this is the looping body. So let's say this is the last statement in the body. So you must put the counter update over here should be at the last statement of your looping body. See, this is a looping body. So this is the last statement. You should put the counter update. So what is a counter update? Counter equal to counter plus one. Right. Counter equal to counter plus one. This is counter update. Okay, now we have the counter update. Okay, let's read this flowchart. Counter one. Okay, one through enter H. Counter equal to one plus one. So what is the value of the counter now? Two. Uh, now counter become two. Okay, go back up again. Two less than equal to four. True. Enter H. Counter equal to two plus one. So what's the value of counter now? Three. Three. Go back up again. Three less than equal to four. True. Enter H. Counter equal to three plus one. What's the value now? Four. Four. Okay. Goes back up again. Okay. Four less than equal to four. True. Enter H. Counter equal to four plus one. Five. Five. Okay, now 5 less than equal to 4, it is false. False, it goes out. Uh, so we have 4 looping. Eh? If you keep track of the looping numbers, so we repeat this process 4 times. Alright, so this is very important and common mistake is you forget to put this in your program. Right. Okay. So now we cover three elements already. Uh, so complete. Okay. Complete already. So looping is very simple and should be very uh, easy to understand once you can identify these three elements where to put it in the correct location. Okay. okay counter update. So the counter initialization. Decision involving the counter and the counter update. You apply this anywhere in the program. It should be the same. Okay, this is this should be the template. Eh? Uh, apply anywhere in your program, and you you you, you will be safe. Huh? <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we we already covered this three. Next is to tally with this. Uh, after user enter H, what should user do? User do nothing. <laughs> the program. What should the program do? You want to complete this? Next display, is what? Yeah. Display. Don't make it. Don't make it. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, what should be uh, repeated over here? Sub. Um, and calculation. Ah, calculation is repeating. It's a repeating program, uh, process then. Eh? Because, you know, H1, H2, H3, H4. So this should be put in the looping body so over here eh? so the flow is first enter h and then we must do the calculation over here okay so 
since we are applying the looping don't do this eh? don't put the whole h1 h2 h3 h4 over here so you must convert this to what we call as the accumulation 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 uh, equation okay the standard of accumulation equation is something like this total equal to total plus x x is the value that you want to accumulate so this is the basics this is the basic of accumulation Okay, so this is the basic of accumulation equation where x is the variable that you want to accumulate uh, so in this case you want to accumulate what class you want to accumulate what variable h uh, we want to accumulate h so just change this to h Okay, uh, but this over here we use sum n. Uh, so we just change this to sum. This one to sum. So you got you got the accumulation equation. Okay, but what missing over here is uh, let's see what's missing with this process. Okay, counter equal to one. Okay, let's put a uh, Variable checking over here. So we have counter, we have H, we have some. Eh? This is just to keep track the value. Eh? So counter equal to 1. Okay, enter this one. Okay, true. User enter, let's say user enter H10. Okay, and then sum. Okay, sum equal to sum plus H. So, what's the value of sum? Zero. What's the value of sum? Sum plus H. H is what? 10. So, sum plus 10 is what? Plus? 10. Sum plus, uh, sum plus 10 equal to no value. <laughs> because sum doesn't have any value. Zero. Uh, error, error. Yeah, some kind of error. So you see what's the problem? What's missing over here? So, uh, mm -hmm. buat atas tu, sum equal to zero, bawah counter tu. Ah, because we don't have the initial value of sum. We need this initial value so that we can calculate the first round of sum okay uh, so initialization is important before we can do accumulation okay so how to do the initialization okay. initialization should be on the top of the program uh, over here lah. so this is a, uh, initialization for the counter so we need to do one more initialization in order for us to do the accumulation just for the sake for accumulation eh? so we need to add one more initialization for the accumulation to be happen in the first round of the looping so we need to uh, initialize the value of sum with zero this should be zero okay it must be zero uh, unless if the requirement of the uh, uh, question ask something else okay okay so when we have sum equal to zero okay now let's uh, do the flow again eh? okay counter one okay sum is zero okay, sum is zero enter h okay user enter h equal to 10 Okay, now sum equal to sum plus h. So what's the value of sum? 10. Uh, so now we can get 10. Eh? Alright, so this is the first loop. So the second loop. Okay, wait. Eh? 
So after do the sum, counter equal to counter plus one. Okay, so counter. Uh, we have the counter value of one and eh? so one plus one equal to two. Okay, two goes back up to less than four. True. Enter H. Okay, user enter 20. Okay, enter H 20. Now, what is the value of sum? 10. Okay, 10. 10, eh? So this is in the memory. Eh? So 10 plus with 20. So now the value is 30. Okay. And then do the counter update. Okay. So counter value currently is 2, kan? So 2 plus 1 is 3. So the new value of counter is 3. Goes back up again. Okay, 3 less than or equal to 4. True. Enter H. Now user enter 5. Okay. So sum equal to 30. Eh? 30 plus 5. So the new value of sum is 35. Next is counter update to 4. Kan? 3 plus 1. So we get 4 over here. Goes back up again. 4 less than equal to 4. Still true. Enter H. Is it enter 5 again? Okay. Sum equal to 35. And 35 and the latest value 35 plus with 5. Okay. Is it enter 5? So the value is 40. Okay. Next, update the counter 4 plus 1. 5. Okay, so the value of counter is 5. Goes up again. 5 less than equal to 4. False, right? Is it right? False. False. Uh, false, and eh? 5 is not less than or equal to 4. Now it is false, so it goes out of the looping. Okay, so now we have the value of sum, which is what, what is the value of sum? The latest value? 40. Uh, 40 value. Right? So, we will proceed. So, what happened when we got the 40 value? What we should do over here? After it gets out from the... Calculate local. average. Ah, it should calculate the average. So, calculate the average over here. Okay, average equal to sum divided by 4. Alright. And then, so this, since it is not repeated, eh, this is only one time, eh, so we put it outside. Uh, unless it is a repeating, we already identified this. Eh? Uh, this is not a repeated process, so we put it outside of the looping. Uh, and finally, we do the Printing. Okay, print and end lah. Okay. Any questions so far? Any question? Ah, uh, sir. Okay. Tak, uh, tak boleh kalau kalau yang apa value sum tu letak bawah counter je. Maksudnya satu kotak je tak boleh. Value sum? ah Letak dalam kotak counter equal to one tu yang atas sekali tu. Kalau buat satu kotak je tak apa ke? Kau kena buat dua kotak untuk yang ini yeah. initialization value tu. Initialization we put mm. it in a different boxes. Uh, ah okay, okay okay sir. It is the same like equation eh. For for assignment symbol just make sure you put only one over here. Unless it is, this is input and output, you may combine as long as it is back to back. Input, you may combine. Uh, for example, this one, eh? H1, comma, H2, H3, you may do that. But for equation, 
and initialization uh, please separate it uh, because it is the same different different things eh? uh, different okay just to make sure that you uh, the programmer is not get confused with this eh? okay same goes over here eh? uh, so we separate the two symbol okay Right. Any other question? Saya nak tanya. Okay. Um, yang yang equation average equal to sum divided by four tu. Four tu tak boleh tukar counter ke? Yes. Yes. Question. You may change this to counter, but if ah, uh, you see the, the value of counter is what the latest value of counter is five. Five. So you cannot use counter over here because if you use counter, what will happen? You put like this, some will divide with five, five right? Uh, that is not correct, right? Because we only divide it by four, and because we have only four value of h. So how can we make it right? If you want to use counter over here, what should minus we? Minus one. Counter minus one. Ah, uh, correct. Okay, you may counter minus one over here in bracket. Okay, in bracket. Very good. What else can you do if you? What else? If you want to use counter, what else can you do is you may start this with zero. Wait up. You may start with zero. And this one you need to change to less than five. Okay. If you start with zero, the maximum value, the maximum. Okay, this one I need to. Okay. So this will become zero. And one, two. Three, four, and four. It will exit. Uh, so you will get four maximum. Uh, so you may use counter only. Uh, that's why this value is you. You may it is up to you. You may start with zero. Or you may start with one, and th this one is also up to you. Okay, then you may use counter over here. Eh? Understand, class? Right. Sure. Yang counter tu less than four. Less than four. Sorry. So this is less than four. Okay, correct. Okay, thank you. Eh. So less than four. Okay, zero, one, two, three. So maximum is three. Eh. Four, it will go out. Uh, but the value of counter is four. Eh. Over here, four, and then it will go out. Uh, false. Okay, very good. Okay, any other question? Very simple, eh? looping is very simple, but it's very important concept. Uh, once you're missing one element, then eh? when you're missing one element of the looping, for example, you're missing the initialization. So your looping is not going to be working. Eh? You are, if you are, uh, if you're putting a wrong uh, condition over here, also your looping is not going to work uh, correctly. It will affect your entire program. Eh? Okay, no question. Okay, if no question, if you refer to the notes, okay, there is a general. Okay, general algorithms over here. Eh? So I want you to convert the flowchart into, it's very basic. Eh? Uh, if there is a looping over here, just put a while over here and then while end. Anything that is repeating, okay, any instruction, any process that is repeating, you just put it inside of the while, while end. Okay. So convert the flowchart into algorithms in five minutes. Uh, 
then I will ask uh, anybody to share the answer in five minutes. Eh? Okay, convert this flowchart into algorithms using the wild algorithms. Complete algorithm, eh? not just the wild part. Eh? Complete from start until the end. In five minutes, guys. Eh? Okay, do now. Eh? Uh, <coughs> type down in the uh, Microsoft Word, eh? because later on you want to share your answer, eh? you need to share your answer to the class.
Oke, okay, finish. Yes. <tuh> Uh, Arni Azira. Arni Azira. Uh, yes, sir. Cak saya present. Okay. Share your screen, eh? Uh, saya boleh nampak tak? Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, while, okay. Enter H. Some H. Okay, counter. Okay, uh, so where's the while end? Where's the looping end ending? Okay, the looping start in line uh, three. Where where the looping end? Uh, you are missing the ending of the looping. Ah, uh, Can you add this uh, the ending to your algorithm? Uh, I'm not sure, Lester. Okay, so uh, in the flowchart, <coughs> in the flowchart, you can see that uh, the end, yeah, the 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 end of the looping body, yeah, like I said, we must put the counter update at the end of the looping body. Uh, so the end of the looping body should be the counter update, lah, in line six. Uh, so line seven, okay should be the should be the while and uh cuba tambah can you add uh, enter in line 6 to enter no 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 line 6 okay okay line 7 okay line 7 enter okay put while and over there okay and then average supposed to be in line eight right <clears throat> okay then line nine and line ten okay all right okay so this is correct eh? but for for the indent kan yang slightly to the right kan uh, so to make sure it is obvious lah, eh? uh, the body eh? the body of the looping kan right? uh, <coughs> line four five six is the body it, the the statements inside of the looping body eh? so make sure the indent kan ke kanan sikit kan uh, slightly to the right tu make sure it is obvious lah. okay okay correct eh the rest okay? Yes. So kalau NY boleh juga kan sir? While and NY boleh lah. Okay, okay. <laughs> as long as we know it is the end, end, end of the looping body eh. Okay, thank you. Uh, Arni.
Okay. Okay. There's one more important. Uh, what we call it? Eh? One more important uh, things. That is uh, the type. This is the types while, do while, and so on. Again. One more is the what we call it. Eh? Uh, types. Ah. <laughs> I don't want you to get confused. Eh? What what we call uh, what uh, we call this one? Eh? We call it as um, another types. <laughs> another types. The types. Eh? Types of. Um, it's one types of looping type of loop structure lah eh. This one general. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, this is the, the, the very general okay. <laughs> this is type of looping structure. This is structure eh. Uh, structure eh? how this is structure lah. while do while we, we look at do while and for eh? general eh? <coughs> loop structure is what we call as the 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 the, the, the the stopping eh? we can say that the stopping criteria eh? the stopping criteria is defined by the program okay by the program. This is not in your lecture note. Eh? Uh, so please make sure uh, you keep this information very well because it will very uh, very useful for you. Eh? It defined by the program. The next one is defined by the user. Types of loop. Stopping criteria, <laughs> okay. Defined by the program, meaning that you as the programmer and eh, the one that de designed the program, eh? Uh, meaning that defined by the program, meaning defined by the programmer, right? Eh? You, eh? You are the programmer, the one who designed the program. Okay, defined by the user is when user use your program, okay. When user use your, your program, user determine whether they want to repeat the program or they want to stop the repetition. Uh, this is what we call a stopping criteria defined by the user. Stopping criteria defined by the program is where you determine your program should repeat how many times. So, based on this example, is it defined by the program or defined by the user class? This example over here. Program. Is it program. defined by the program or defined by the user? The stopping criteria. User have a, a free will to control this. Yes or no? Yes. No. User may choose how many age they uh, want to enter. True or false? No. False. No. No, right. You see that have don't have the power to control this program. So they need to enter exactly for each. Okay, so this is where you force user to enter exactly for each, meaning that exactly for looping. You need to run this program exactly four times. Okay, uh, not four times, it repeated four times. Huh? One, two, three, for so user doesn't have the control uh, for for the program uh, so this is what we call as uh, looping uh, 
defined by the program lah. sometimes we call it as automatic loops uh, okay automatic loop but automatic loop is uh, i'm afraid that you will confuse it with this one eh uh, this is automatic loop uh, this is different things eh okay so this is where the stopping criteria is defined by the program okay i'm not going to discuss this uh, right now later on once we finish with all the uh, loop structure then we are going to look at uh, how to uh, create how to change this so that it is uh, defined by the user okay the stopping criteria can be defined by the user user can have the power to control the looping so that one is later eh? so for now we are focusing on this okay you as the programmer there is uh, control the looping how the loopings uh, how many loops should be your programs execute eh? all right <clears throat> so this is the while loop so next we are going to look at the second types of loop structure which is the do while repeat until yeah do while yeah we'll use the same example uh, over here however okay do while is very 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 simple okay, the general structure is something like this eh? uh, this is while we see the condition is on top of the loop body end eh? Uh, so this is top of the loop body so this is the loop body this is the loop body so for do while the condition is at the bottom of the loop body so this is the loop body instead of putting the condition on the top we put it at the bottom of the loop body uh, meaning that it is the the last instruction uh, in the loop body and we replace the supposed to be condition on the top we replace it with do statement put do that's it uh, so what's the difference uh, later on we see what's the difference eh? so this is in the, the different in terms of the structure so what happened over here if we if you want to use uh, do while instead of while so what you need to do is you need to cut this okay, okay. cut this okay i have to move this over here replace this is what class do n And I must put the condition at the bottom of the loop body, which is over here. Lah. Bottom in. Bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay, nothing change change eh? in the loop body. Eh? So the loop body is still this three statement. Uh, nothing changed. The one that is changed is only the placement of the condition. Instead of we put it on the top, now it is at the bottom. Uh, so this at the bottom. Uh, false. Eh? So this is if it is true. 
This is if it is false. We'll go to statement over here. Okay, just copy, eh, cut, paste over here. Of course, this one will, instead of over here, and it will become over here because this belongs to uh, this. Then, so what's the difference, class? Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, let's look at the while. Okay, so let's say, let's say, eh, let's say the counter value is. Uh, four. Okay, counter equal to four. Let's see. Eh, this is an example. So what will happen to the program? Is it going to execute process inside of the loop body if counter equal to four? No. Uh, what happen if counter equal to four? While okay. When we run the program, okay, counter equal to 4. So, counter equal to 4. 4 less than 4. True or false? False. False. And then it will go up, out immediately. Okay? Meaning that if the condition is false, the program will not execute the looping at all not execute it at all okay even once no okay it will go outside of the looping and that's it compared to do while okay we use the same condition so this let's say counter equal to four so what will happen four n same eh four the rest is the rest is the same eh? so this uh, the condition is the same the condition is the same okay the same eh? uh, however the placement of condition is at the bottom of loop body so what happen if this is four okay enter is it going to enter the looping glass if this is four is it going yes. to enter the looping yes or no yes yes because yes choice okay he doesn't have a condition of a way you cannot go anywhere you need to okay the program need to enter this enter each calculate the sum calculate the uh, counter and finally it reach the decision which is true or false 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 then eh? because counter already five over here <laughs> okay okay so if we go outside meaning that Although the condition is false for do while, okay, for do while, the program will execute the looping at least once. Although the condition is false, okay, but for while, when the condition is false, the program will not execute the looping at all. Uh, that's the main difference between while and do while. Okay, can you understand this? Any question? Any question? <clears throat> okay, the rest is the same. Eh? If the condition is uh, true, if let's say it is originally zero, eh? so you read this, uh, it is the same. Eh? Okay, it's the same. Uh, okay, so no question? No question? Okay, if no question, then in five minutes, convert this into algorithms.
Okay, complete. Class. Yes. Okay, let's take a look uh, from Tisha, Tisha Lin. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, share, share your screen, please. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So we have do okay on top of the uh, looping, and then enter each sum counter within the loop body. Then we have while. Uh, this one counter should be one again. <laughs> one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. Is it? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Huh? One, two, one, eh? Okay, sir. Oh. Okay. Uh, number nine and ten uh should be in line with while. Eh? Nine oh, and ten okay, so be, uh, not belong to the looping, uh, so it should be in line. Uh. Okay, right. so okay, good, thank you. Keep. Okay, any question, guys? I think. Uh, <clears throat> for today, we're going to stop. Uh, sir, yeah, sir. Ada, uh, yeah. Kalau yang do y tu memang tak ada n y eh? Kalau dia punya algorithm tu. Uh, of course, it doesn't have n y because we stop. Uh, we stop dia. We stop at the condition kan? So, the condition is going to be the stopping point. Uh, the, so, there's no n y lah. Uh, okay, sir. Thank All you, right. sir. Okay. Are there any question lagi? Any any other question before we end the session? Sir. Yeah. Kalau yang algoritm eh uh, y tu kan, yang ny tu kalau print tu letak atas ny tu boleh tak? Okay. If you want to y line, not do y line. For y ke? Hmm. Print letak atas mana? And why? You put. Uh, okay, if you put this inside of and while, meaning that you put it inside of the looping. Okay, meaning that you move this. You move this inside of the loop body. Betul ke salah? <laughs> you move it inside of the loop body because uh, end while supposed to be the end of the loop. Okay, if we convert this into loop uh, algorithm, end while is over here. So if you put this inside of uh, uh, on top of end while, meaning you are putting this inside of the looping body, which is the that the uh, flow there that the flow is different, right? So it will repeat lah. It will repeat this. It will print many times. Uh, it will print four times exactly for the print sum and average, which is not the requirement. Kan? 
And the requirement is we print this only once. So if you put this inside of uh, the body, uh, meaning that you put this uh, on top of the while and now it become looping. Uh, so it will print some and average four times to be exact, uh, which is wrong in terms of the required flow. Okay, required flow, it print only once. Okay, unless the question asks you to print it five times, then you must put it inside of the looping. Is it uh, answering your question? Huh? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay, are there any other question? Sir. Sure. Yeah. So we do the looping for the repeating uh, things. Yes. Uh, we apply looping only to the uh, repeated elements, repeated process. Okay. Of course, this one, uh, this one I already given to you again, the process, how it's going to look. But uh, if not given to you, then you need to sketch this first. Eh? Uh, sketch this, uh, the flow first and then identify, identify which part of the flow is repeated. Uh, then put a repeated uh, process within the loop body. Uh, and then put a uh, three elements, eh? okay, three elements for the counter initialization uh condition eh? and update uh, that's it easy yes eh? very simple there any other question so kalau apa ni Kalau dia minta kira average saja je, sum tak perlu. Kena letak ke dekat atas tu, ini selection value tu, yang equal to zero sum tu. Okay, uh, mana? This one? Kalau dia tak nak kira sum, dia nak kira average je, boleh ke? If you want to calculate average, you need to have the value of sum. Kalau tak macam mana nak calculate uh, average? Yeah, okay, sir. Uh, okay. Dia yeah, okay. Yeah, the sum, yeah. So you need to have the sum unless you cannot calculate average. Yeah. Nah, ni tadi saya dah tukar kan. Originally, what is the value? Ah, tadi apa? Uh, zero. Zero. Eh? Zero. Zero. One, two, three. Ah, three. Okay. okay. Any other question? The, yeah. Uh, there is uh some apa macam condition uh untuk guna which type of looping. Okay. Uh, if okay, this is if uh during test lah, during test or exam kan. Uh, if there no doesn't mention in the question, okay, which types of looping that you need to use, then it is up to you. Okay. You may use any, any of these three. It's up to you actually. You can apply it in all these three, in uh, all the, uh, all kinds of uh, looping problem. It's, it is actually up to you. But unless if the question mentioned you need to use a while looping, uh, then you need to exactly use while. Lah. Otherwise, it's up to you. Hmm. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we are not yet discussing on the automatic loop and eh? for loop. Uh, the for loop is something else. Uh, later on, when we discuss on the for loops, okay, so we are going to look at what kinds of problem that is suitable to be used for for loop. Uh, I'm saying suitable, eh? not must use for loop. Suitable, but of course, as I said, you can apply any types of looping for while do was up to you. But what should be more suitable for for loops. Uh, there's uh, some condition on that. Okay. Ada lagi? Any other question? Attendance, sir. Okay. <laughs> tak ada lah question, eh? Attendance, <laughs> eh? Okay. So, if no question, make sure tonight, eh? Be on time, eh? <laughs> Be on time. Uh, okay. I already share you the, the SOP, eh? The SOP for the tonight. 
uh, mid term test eh so starting with apa tadi kau apa tadi starting with lapang ah uh, 8 pm okay tonight so you may access the integrated form eh so when you submitted this form then you will get the question uh, if you're not submitting this form you're not going to get the question eh uh, this is uh eight lah make sure 8 pm eh so that you can have uh more time to answer the questions all right uh attendance eh attendance okay so if no question then fill in the attendance and thank you class assalamualaikum thank you sir 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 thank you sir